Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Scrap Mechanic for you guys here today. Hope you guys are having a good one today. My day is going pretty darn well, and I thought that I would come back into Scrap Mechanic and do some pretty cool stuff. Um, besides, you know, going to the bathroom in a toilet. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be recreating one of my most popular builds that I've done on my channel. Uh, it's a YouTube video by the name of Semi Truck Creation <clears throat> in Scrap Mechanic. And uh, I figured what I'd do is I would recreate that and, and try and make it better. Try to improve upon that. Uh, in one way or another, you know, since there's been a lot of additions to the game and, you know, I've learned some new tricks to the game as well. So I figured I would go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to we're going to start here with just a, you know, quick little little thing there. And I am going to make this out of wood, uh, but I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to switch it up here a little bit. So I am not going to, you know, bore you guys with all of the details, but um yeah, I am going to go ahead and start building this. Um, I don't, I haven't worked out quite exactly what my dimensions and stuff are going to be, uh, but I do know that I will need a a uh, front seat and a passenger seat, so I can probably get away with that being in one, and then just like that, that being in one. And then, you know, we could always come back closer in on the sides here, like so. Kind of take that out. And then we can take this one out as well. And then, you know, we can have our, our seat there. So I'm actually going to throw in a passenger seat right here. Just like so. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get started building this thing. I'll bring you guys back when I've kind of made a little bit of progress. All right, guys, this is what I've got for kind of the main shell of the uh, of the the tractor here, as you can see, um, just kind of a, a, you know, pretty basic body. Let's see, everything kind of lines up, got some nice turning radius on it. Uh, we've got our two seats. We've even got our sleeper cab back here to appease some of the, the long range truckers that uh, watch my YouTube stuff. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of, you know, doing some details, which we'll, we'll get into the details in a bit. Um, but this is kind of what I've got so far. Let's go ahead and place this over here and we'll see how this puppy does. All right. Not a terrible turning radius. I feel like I actually, ooh, oh, game crashed. All right, here we are back in the game. Uh, looks like I just had a little bit of a crash there. But yeah, not terrible, not terrible. It's got a decent turning radius. I was going to do suspension on this thing because uh, I know it's a little low to the ground to be a semi. Um, but I figured with the amount of weight that I might be throwing into a machine like this, like suspension probably wouldn't be the best. Now, I could try and throw suspension the suspension in but uh you know i really just don't know how it'll do so got everything kind of connected up i've got two engines in here for plenty of power uh i need to go ahead and get the trailer going all right so i went back and added some suspension it's not bad um it's uh it's it's a little on the bumpy side but you know i could imagine that's how it could be if you were in a real semi uh, the suspension is rather compressed a lot of the time, too, so um, I'm not sure how it's going to handle when we put some weight on this guy, but uh, I'm going to try it. All right, guys, so I'm trying a little bit of a different trailer mechanic with this one. Uh, there was one that my dad's truck used to use. Uh, he carried a lot of equipment for, like... Um, asphalt construction and like road lay, road bleh, lay in roads and stuff like that and one of the mechanics that uh, one of the the things used on his uh was a, a pretty neat system where the trailer actually loaded from the front so kind of between the truck and the trailer so what you had was these these hooks that kind of came up underneath the trailer and locked into place 
on this this kind of middle section here. So I was kind of thinking, you know, of doing a system like that if I can replicate it. I'm not sure if I can yet um, and, and make it, you know, usable because I know the last system that I did worked out really well where there was like a single hitch point. Um, and it worked out pretty darn well, and, uh, you know, I thought it could be just fine. But, um, you know, I am going to have to kind of see, you know, what I can try and maneuver with this. And some of you guys out there might know what I'm talking about when it when it comes to this. Um, some people might not have the slightest idea what I'm talking about when I, when I say this kind of hitch system. Because uh, I don't remember seeing that many vehicles that had this kind of hitch system you know it was basically just the one um that uh, you know i saw on my dad's vehicle uh way 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 back in the day so who knows but uh, what i need to do right now is i need to try and get the trailer portion of this connected in such a way that is not going to screw with everything basically so let's go ahead and come up and then we will go out and then I'm going to drop uh, probably over to this way, over this way, and then I'm going to try and come down just far enough to where it doesn't connect. And then when I break this, it slid on perfectly. Fantastic. That is exactly what I wanted. And then we'll start to build our, our trailer off of this so i think i'm gonna work on this here a little bit um but uh, I, th I think i want it to be kind of like that um let's see we'll come out kind of the same distance I, I don't think i need to come out past the wheels just kind of like that and then we can uh, come out to there cut across get that and then I am going to extend it back, you know, a good ways, a good little ways. And uh, we'll kind of see how this works. So I think for a second here, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, start start the build. All right, guys, there's a pretty quick and dirty trailer. And this mechanism is not bad, actually. I've kind of been messing with it here. Um, you know, you... you can sometimes have a little bit of trouble getting everything lined up but when the mechanism is up it's out of the way it's not going to hit anything then you just put it down and then you know even if you're a little bit off too like you could be like maybe out to here and it pretty much catches which is which is really nice actually and I, there's i think there's ways that i could even improve that but you know what i kind of want to get into a little bit of the you know semi truck business a little bit of this uh, i think you know we could we could make the truck itself look a little bit better and they've even got like side controls because that's how it was there was no like truck controls uh for that thing back uh, you know the one that i remember at least it didn't have truck controls so you know uh, every truck has a good horn so you know what no we need to actually place these in a different spot so i think let's go ahead and do some some building here with this thing um i don't think i need any more wheels uh we could throw in some other pieces here i think i'm gonna get rid of those uh, i think we'll even throw in some doors maybe um yeah, we can leave the switch. I'm not sure. Oh, we've got this front glass too, which I'm kind of curious how big that is. Oh, it's almost, it almost works. Like I, I missed this in the last video, but check that out. There's like these glass panes as well. And, but there's, um, I don't know if there's ones that'll work for what we would need to do. Cause I think they're all like kind of just off just by a little bit. So let's take a look here and see. If I put that one there, yeah, they're all like evens, and I need I need an odd one. Um, I'm assuming this one's gonna be the same way. Where if I put that there, yeah, it's it's basically the same. But you know, we do have the glass blocks that we can use, so we can go ahead and throw in a, a windshield here. I think I'm gonna remove that actually, and then I'm gonna come up one more, and then we'll just do like some nice windows here. And then we'll do another set right there. I think I'm actually going to chop that top piece off. 
and then we can even come up, come over, just like so. Not bad for a couple of windows. And then we can throw in a door and we can do a couple of frames here. So let's go ahead and frame out the door. Just like so. And I think that actually needs to be like that, okay? And then, uh, yeah, just up to there is probably good. Just like that. And then we can frame out this door on this side as well. Uh, yeah, that's good. Kind of come up to, uh, oh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and, and do this and then we can just pop out the window there. So let's go ahead and do that in and do that in. Very nice. And so if I go ahead and I throw this down, like so, if I attach that and attach that, uh, we'll swap those. They both want to go probably 75 degrees is probably good. And then we can throw our switch in. Connect it up. Connect the switch up to that. Get in our seat. Number two. Oh, let's go ahead and swap those back the other direction. There you go. Opens the doors. Very nice. All right. We're starting to get, we're starting to look like a truck. We're not quite there. All right, guys, check it out. I painted it. It's not bad. You know, it's definitely going to be a design I think I can improve on over time. Uh, but for being my first build back into Scrap Mechanic, I think it's going to be, you know, not too bad, not too shabby. Uh, we could use a little bit more power, I think. But, uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, I am, uh, I, I, there's a couple of things that I want to try and tweak a little bit. I, I might need to go back and look at my original design. Uh, on a couple of things as well. Um, I might be forgetting a few mechanics and stuff. So if you guys have suggestions on, uh, you know, what I could be doing a little bit differently. If you guys know some tricks of the trade and everything, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. But I'm, I'm digging it. I'm, I'm thinking it's a pretty neat looking truck. Oh, I, uh, I forgot to open the doors. I've got my horns on. <laughs> Uh, we can, you know, raise and lower the trailer. I, I think it's going to look pretty good uh, over time. So I think in the next episode, we're going to go back and kind of revisit some of my old builds, see if there's anything that we can color and make pretty again. Um, you know, we might even take a, a little bit of time and look at some of your guys' builds. So if you're interested, uh, I am going to set up an email address. So check the description. Uh, if you guys want to send me your builds, you can do so. And uh, I think that's going to be it for now, guys. My name is Drax. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.